Sad news tonight. Former U.S. Senator and Republican presidential nominee Bob Dole died Sunday morning following a long battle with lung cancer. Madeline Rivera has more. I've never been prouder in my life than to have been the Republican nominee for president of the United States. As the 1996 Republican nominee, Bob Dole came as close as he ever would to winning the presidency. It's a dream he chased three times. He made that concession speech in Russell, Kansas, to the people who had known him since his birth there in 1923. World War II took Dole from Kansas to Italy. Just before the end of the war, Nazi machine gunfire shattered his upper body and destroyed his right shoulder. It was about 11 months, I think, before I could feed myself. I think I could have done it, frankly, to be very honest about it, probably at eight months, but the nurses were very attractive. After his recovery, Dole went from county prosecutor to the House to the Senate. Dole became the Senate Majority Leader in 1984. He remained in leadership until 1996, resigning his Senate seat to run for president. The new season before me makes this moment far less the closing of one chapter than the opening of another. Proving the third time's a charm. I accept your nomination to lead our party once again to the presidency of the United States. Dole lost to Bill Clinton, but remained in the public eye in more ways than one. He lent his image to big-name products like Viagra and Pepsi. I feel like a kid again. And he became a voice for veterans' rights visiting the World War II memorial on a regular basis and arranging travel for fellow World War II veterans to do the same. Senator Dole, who uh, is himself a veteran and a wounded veteran at that, dis former distinguished senator, a man who knows Washington well, but more importantly knows the kind of questions they ask. In 2012, Dole had one of his toughest days on Capitol Hill, visiting the casket of fellow World War II veteran, Senator Daniel Inouye of Hawaii. A wheelchair-bound Dole needed the help of his wife Elizabeth and an aide to take the steps on his own feet, reportedly because he didn't want his longtime friend to see him in a wheelchair. It was a similar scene in 2018, Dole standing from his wheelchair to salute another fellow soldier from the greatest generation and 41st President of the United States, George H.W. Bush. That determination is how Senator Dole earned respect from both sides of the aisle.